Now you may have heard of the expression speed. Speed is simply the distance traveled divided by the time during which that distance is traveled. There is an important distinction to remember between speed and velocity. Speed is a scalar quantity um, or a quantity that only has magnitude and velocity is a vector quantity. A vector quantity has both magnitude and direction. The common expression for velocity looks something like this. Delta s divided by delta t, where s represents distance or displacement and t represents time. Now delta is simply a Greek letter that means change in. So in this case we have change in displacement or the final displacement minus the initial displacement or the final position minus the initial position divided by the change in time. Another common physics term is acceleration. Now acceleration is just the change in velocity over the change in time. So final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. Now there's some other common expressions you'll see relating displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Those look something like this. The first expression is simply that last equation we saw rearranged. That is, the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration times time. Now this expression gives you a way to calculate displacement. It's equal to velocity, initial velocity times time plus one-half at squared. This expression relates the final velocity, the initial velocity, the acceleration, and displacement without time. That makes it very useful. It's vf squared is equal to v0 squared, or initial velocity squared, plus 2as. The final expression here simply states that the displacement is equal to the average velocity times time. The average velocity, of course, is just the initial velocity plus the final velocity divided by 2.